say that you're making a ham sandwich and your friend asks for half of it. Because you're feeling nice today, you prepare to slice the sandwich in half. But then, a thought occurs to you. Without moving any of the bread or ham, is it always possible to cut all three elements of the sandwich exactly in half using just one cut? It turns out that this is always possible under the n equals 3 case of the well-named ham sandwich theorem. And today, we will prove this case together. Let's call the first slice of bread B1, the ham is H, and the second slice of bread is B2. Let us define a sphere S centered at the origin. At any point P on S, we can form a plane pi of P that is tangential to the surface of S. Let's call the side of the plane facing the origin the negative side, and the other side is the positive side. This plane represents our knife. Every plane pi of P can be moved to bisect B2 no matter what point P is. Now, we use the borsuk ulam theorem to bisect B1 and H. According to the n equals 2 case of this theorem, for every continuous function f that takes in a point located on the 2D sphere space and outputs an associated yz coordinate on the 2D real space, there exists a point x on the 2D sphere space such that f of x is equal to f of negative x. For instance, let f of x output the pressure and temperature at a location x on the Earth. For at least one point x on the Earth, the pressure and the temperature will be the exact same as location negative x halfway around the world. Going back to our ham sandwich, let's define a function f that takes in a point p in the 2D sphere space and outputs the volume of B1 and H that are on plane pi of P's positive side. Note that plane pi of P is the same plane as plane pi of negative P, except that their positive and negative sides have been flipped. From the borsuk ulam theorem, we know that F of P is equal to F of negative P. Hence, the volumes of B1 and H that are on the positive side of plane pi of P is equal to the volume of B1 and H on the positive side of plane pi of negative P, which is the negative side of plane pi of P. This tells us that plane pi of P bisects B1 and H. And we have proven that using just one cut, we can divide all three elements of our delicious ham sandwich exactly in half. Now, using the same reasoning, you can prove that for any NP sandwich in an n-dimension space, you can use an n minus one dimension knife to cut each piece exactly in half. Thank you for listening and go enjoy your ham sandwich.